everybody, this is Sindhu from Imagination to Creation, and today I'll be teaching you how to draw Lord Rama in a very simple, easy way. The materials you'll be needing for this is a paper, pencil, and an eraser. I'll be doing it on a whiteboard for you guys to have a better look. So let's get started. This is an example of him on whiteboard, and this is an example of him on paper. Okay, so I first started off with just a U-like shape, like this. This is going to be like in the middle of your paper. So from here, just on the tip of these, we're just going to go inwards. So don't draw this right here, but it's just going to curve inwards like this on both sides that come up from this point. And you want to make them about the same size. So, from here, you want to find the middle point of like halfway. And it's going to, you're going to just make a little dot. Just if this is the imaginary line that goes down, it's just going to be a little bit below it. Just a little bit. You're going to find about the middle. A little more there. And then you're just going to, don't draw this right here. Anything I draw over here in the corner, you're not supposed to draw that. I'm just showing you for a bigger look. So it's just going to curve inwards, kind of like a backwards three, but it's only going to come in slightly. So it's not going to be very visible, but it'll be visible. Like that. So it's not quite like a, like a really sideways three. It's just more of like... Just kind of like a curve, just slightly curved, and another one that comes out like that. Here, on both sides of this curve we did, we're just going to draw some ovals that are curving the same exact direction as this. So if this is that line right there, it's going to be like that same exact curve, but make it an oval like that. same size, like the, the same shape, the smaller size, and just color it in. Not the entire thing, just that little, like, so if this is the oval inside, this is the outer one, then just color that little one in. But, so now, starting from, like, just coming up from here, on the, so you don't want to start it right here, because this is where something else is. So you want to start it right on the curve of these ovals. So you're just going to make a circular shape like this, and it's just going to come around and touch on both of these sides. And um, this might be like a little bit tricky, so if you need a race, you can go ahead and do that. But yeah. So if it's a little unequal, then you can fix it. Okay, so that's pretty equal. until I find about the middle and then you're going to just make it so it's going to be just like a curve like this just slightly like this but you're going to leave some gap in the middle like a gap for a circle to fit in find the middle point slightly curve it and then make a circle like that. And then inside that circle, we're just going to do a little, like an oval like that. Well, more like circles. And then an oval in the middle like that. So it looks kind of like a ghost face. Like 
that. Okay, now from here, we can find like, so if this is where the circle is, we're just going like on the both sides of the circle, which should be in the middle. And we're just going to, on this side, imaginary line, and make a line that curves outwards a little. Like that. If you need to, you can fix it. Okay. From here, we are just going to curve it. So if these are the lines, they're going to curve inwards like that. But they're not going to connect. Because from here, maybe a little bit wider, we're going to make, so it's going to be like a triangle, but it's going to curve, like the sides are going to curve. So it's just going to come up like that, but it's not going to connect. But this, instead of this being like a triangle with curves, it's going to be like this. And it's just going to come up, come up, but it's not going to connect. And then, from there, we're just going to make like, this is a circle, we're just going to do like the bottom half of it. So it's just going to be a shape like that. So, it's going to be a shape like that, but you want to find like about the middle point, and make it a little bit higher up, just make a mark, and then you're just going to curve it in like that. So, it's just going to curve in and touch. And in touch. Like that. And you're just going to do that on top of there. So it's just going to come like a circle and then touch at the top. So now we're going to move on to the next part. So where these two lines are, these two points, we are going to make a curve like the top of an eye like that. So it's just going to curve up just a little bit of a curve right there. Okay, from there, we are going to find like the middle point and just make a line. And then, we're going to do another one, but on the other side, but it's going to curve to the, so whichever side is in the middle, if it's on this left side, it's going to curve, like, um, diagonally this way more, and if it's on the right side, it's going to curve diagonally that way more. So it's just going to slightly curve like this. And then we're going to find the center point, and now it's going to curve the exact opposite way. So if it's on the right side, it's going to curve, I'm oh, sorry, left side, it's going to curve slanting that way. Like that. There we go. Now, on this side, we're going to find about the middle point and make a one curve that's kind of... Like the bottom of an eye. So if this is an eye, it's going to be the bottom. Like the bottom of the eye. And we can do the same exact thing we did with the lines in here. So it's just going to curve out like that. Like that. Now we can do the same exact thing on this side. So we're going to find the middle curve. And this time, since it's tiny, you don't really have to do slanted lines. You can just do lines in there. Like that. Now, in this circle we did here, so we're just going to make curves around. So if this is a circle, we're just going to make a curve like this. So it's just kind of like, kind of looks like a spider right now. So it's like, kind of looks like a spider with a leg. But it's going to come from wide, then it's going to get tinier. 
So we're, but it's gonna, sorry, it's gonna slant a little bit more like that. And we're just gonna do that all throughout it. And if you need to erase, you can erase it to fix it a little bit. Like that. Okay, so now I have it like how I want it. And now we can just make, so if this is the shape, we're just going to do, you can, so it's just going to be, like you want to make it pretty like neat, but it can just be like that, but you don't want it to be squiggly like this. But it's just, and if you'd like, you could just do like triangles like this all around it. If this is a line, it would go all around it like that. Or you can just do still neat, but not as like time consuming. So we're just going to do that all around it. I'm going to leave some space by here. Like, if this is this, like this point where this is, you want to leave like that much space. Okay, so now from here, we can just do his neck. So it's just going to be a slightly curved like this. I mean, it's going to be further apart, but it's just going to be curved like this on both sides. So just note that when you're, like, when you're doing it, if this is the... Um, bottom of his face. Note that if you start from up here, it's probably going to only be from like right here because you curve it in like more like along here. So just note that. Um, and if you need to, you can always change it too. Like that. So now we can do his face. So if you'd like, you can just picture an imaginary line right down the middle, or you can very lightly draw a little line down the middle. And on both sides. So right where these points are, you're just going to draw his ears. So his ears are just going to be a curved shape like that and then they come in and they come in a little bit and then go back out like that and then going to make a curve right here and a curve right here like that so it's pretty big want to do that same exact thing on the other side. You want to okay, so now we can move on to his eyes. His eyes are just going to be like an almond shape, so it's just going to start off with a curve, and they're kind of, it's just like a football kind of. The shape of a football like that and then inside is just going to be a circle and then another circle and that. It's, so basically it's just going to have like a C 
and then curve it in a little bit like that. And then you can fill this in. Okay. Okay, so you can do that eye, or you can do this one. This is what I'm gonna do. It's gonna be like that. The shape is gonna be the same, but it's just gonna start at the top and not come all the way down. Like that. And then you can just fill that all in. And if you like to, you can leave a little hole. Like that. So now we can do it on both sides. So the, it's going to start about right where the ear is, the tip of the ear. And you want to get it as close as you can to the same size. And then I'll do the little circle. Like that. Now you can erase this invisible imaginary line. If it's imaginary, then you don't have to do anything. But if it's actually there, now would be a good time to take it off. Now, above the eye, we're going to follow that same exact shape of the eye and we are just going to make that same exact shape above it. Okay, so now we're just going to make a big U shape, but it's going to curve a long one. It's going to curve inwards. So we're going to start up here and come out over here like that. point right here, as close as you can to it, you're just going to make a curve like this that you did for the neck. Like that. And it's just going to curve down. From there, you can just make a, so you're going to find this point from below the eyes and you're going to make two curves like this. So kind of like a C and a backward C. And then you're going to go, so this is how it's going to look, so it's going to go up. And back up. And then you can just fill this in right here. And then that line will be like that. So it's going to go up and up. It's kind of hard to see it, but yeah. like that. It's kind of hard to see the detail right here, but like I said, it would be like. Would be like that and then colored in and then that line would come like that. So that's the nose and then just like a little bit below that you're going to make a kind of just a curve that kind of curves as a middle point and curves outwards like that. And then it's just going to come down and curve like that. And then, from right here, it's just going to curve and make, and these are his lips, by the way. It's just going to make, like, a sideways C kind of curve. So if this is C, it's going to be sideways. Like that. And inside of it, you can just make, like, a triangle and fill it in. Like that. Okay. So... Again, I'm doing it right here for you to get a better look at the detail. So 
So I just made those two curves and made a little triangle and fill it in. to just make a big curve as much as space as you have and the little ones are going to be smaller so it kind of looks like fingers so there's just little ones right here We can just make more of these same shapes on the top part. So just gonna curve like that and like that. Gonna come in like that. Now we can just make more of those same shapes. Just do circles. Like that. And there you go. We're all done with the crown part. So now we can move on to the bottom part of him. So we're not going to be drawing all of him, we're just going to be drawing like to the short shoulders. So right at the neck, we're just going to make a curve like that. So it's just going to be just a soft little curve there. We're going to bring it down and make another one. Just the same exact sort of size. Like that. Like that. Now we can bring his shoulders down. So we're just gonna go like that. Maybe. From here, we can, on his ears, we can do a little circle like that. Bring a line down and do a bigger circle on both sides. Like that. Kind of hard to see that little circle there, but basically it's going to be a little circle, a line down, and then a big circle. Okay, so as I'm doing it, like in um, on the whiteboard, it's kind of harder to see the details. But if you do it in like a sketchbook or a paper, it's easier to see the details. So this is like how the earring thing actually looks. It's a little circle, a line, and then a bigger circle. Like that. Okay, now from here, we you should you should have an eraser right now because you have to like no matter what 
erase some lines unless you can somehow cover it up, I guess. But from his neck, like right here, we're just going to make a curve like this. Then like right about here, we're just going to curve down. So we need to erase this. This is his mala. Like that. And this is also called the garland. So we're gonna come down. And then come right about here. And erase that line. Just do little we can do a circle and then another circle and another circle as many as we can fit but it's not going to be circles like little circles like circles like that it's going to be circles getting smaller and smaller and you're just going to do as many as you can fit on there just going to be little curves. Like that! Now, right here, we're going to do little squiggly lines. Like that. So it's just squiggly like this. So it's kind of like a snake. And then we're going to follow that same exact shape and just do another one like this. Like that, and then we can just do little circles in those. Like that! marker you can't really see the difference. Like that. 
So now we can move on to arrows. On his shoulder and another curve. It's actually going to be pretty long. And it's just going to connect with a curve, just slightly, quite a slight curve like that. And then, side we're going to do one curve, another a little bit smaller, just a little, just a little like curve like an arrow kind of, like a hook, sorry. Like that. And then, we're going to do that same exact shape but slightly smaller this time. just going to be like flower petals. Like this. Like that. These are like they like that. Now we can draw the arrows. So the arrows we're just going to draw two parallel lines right next to each other like that. So just two parallel lines. And then just above it, we're just gonna draw some like just strokes of lines. And it kind of makes it look like wheat. Like that. And then you just keep drawing more. Just lines. same size because like it could be tucked in more or it could be out more. Like that! And those are his arrows. Now we can move on to his bow. So So his bow is just going to make an etch thing. So it's going to come up here and curve like this, like that. Almost as if he has a tail coming out like Lord Hagamon. But it's actually the bow. So it's going to, so we're going to follow the same exact shape, except it's going to get tinier and tinier as it comes in. gets narrower and narrower and skinnier. And then it connects just with a little point like that. And then it curves down a little bit like that. Now, from there, we can just draw some designs in it. So we can do one, two, one, two, just some lines, and some like S's, one, two, some more, just little curves. And then we can leave some space and make another one. And then go one, two, just curving outwards like that. And a little dot up there. And then one, two. And then from here, this is going to come down like this. And it's just going to come into the garland. There's some empty space, you can just make some designs like that. And then you can do some more designs and circles like that. And there you go. Now we can draw like the little string for the bow and arrow. So it's just going to start up here, come here, come down, make a curve, come back out like that. And it'll disconnect right there. And, yeah, here you go. You're all done. If you'd like to, you can.
inside it. Before I leave, I'd like to tell you a little bit about myself. I'm 11 years old and I've been drawing ever since I was three and I've been doing realistic drawings for the past two years. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you next time.